UAV warfare escalates in the Russia-Ukraine conflict The modern warfare landscape is witnessing significant changes with the rise of unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs. The Russia-Ukraine conflict serves as a prominent example of how UAVs are reshaping aerial warfare dynamics. The deployment of UAVs is increasingly shaping military strategies due to their agility and speed. Despite ethical concerns surrounding their use, UAVs offer enhanced precision, reduced collateral damage, and improved pilot safety compared to traditional manned aircraft. These versatile UAVs have proven effective in various military operations, including intelligence gathering, surveillance, reconnaissance, aerial support, logistics, and communication. Analysts predict that UAVs may eventually replace manned aircraft in tasks such as aerial refueling, air-to-air -air combat, enemy air defense suppression, search and rescue, and electronic warfare. Unmanned aerial vehicles have demonstrated superior performance and endurance when compared to their manned counterparts. They also offer significant cost advantages, as UAVs require lower operational expenses and pose less risk to human pilots. However, despite WAV's advantages, manned aircraft retain their importance. Human pilots provide real-time decision-making capabilities and are better suited for handling complex missions requiring specialized expertise. Furthermore, the psychological impact of human presence in manned aircraft can serve as an effective deterrent against adversaries. The Russia-Ukraine conflict has intensified the use of UAVs, as both sides seek dominance in the skies. Experts note that the rapid development of UAV technologies by both nations has accelerated their integration into military strategies. In February, Ukraine's Minister of Internal Affairs advisor referred to UAVs as super weapons in the ongoing conflict. Kiev has invested significantly in nurturing its UAV capabilities. Recent incidents involving UAV attacks further highlight their prominence in the conflict. Russia accused Ukraine of using UAVs to target Moscow, with some UAVs being intercepted by Russia's air defense system. While UAVs offer significant advantages in modern warfare, their usage must adhere to ethical guidelines and prioritize civilian safety. In conclusion, the utilization of unmanned aerial vehicles in the Russia-Ukraine conflict exemplifies their growing impact on contemporary warfare. As technologies continue to advance, UAVs are expected to play an increasingly prominent role on the battlefield while complementing the strengths of manned aircraft. Remember, the best CO practice is to create valuable, informative, and user-friendly content that genuinely meets the needs of your target audience. Avoid trying to mimic human writing artificially and instead focus on providing meaningful and relevant information in a natural manner. Ukrainian expert unveils new Russia's UAV tactics. Sergei Beskresnov, a Ukrainian military expert in electronic warfare, EU, and intelligence, has revealed significant changes in how the Russian armed forces utilize unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs. Formerly, they immediately took control of UAVs for targeting upon deployment, but this tactic has now become less frequent in Moscow's operations. According to Beskresnov, recent developments indicate a shift in Russia's approach. Instead of solely focusing on destroying targets, the Russian military now directs UAVs to patrol around key areas like Kiev and other Ukrainian cities. The motivation behind this change lies in Russia's apparent attempt to erode Ukraine's air defense capabilities and deplete their missile and ammunition stocks. By continuously deploying cost-effective UAVs, they compel Ukraine to use expensive weaponry to intercept the drones. Additionally, Russia seems interested in probing the locations of Ukraine's air defense systems on its territory. Identifying the launch sites of Kiev's missiles allows Moscow to avoid potential counterattacks from long-range missiles and UAVs. In early July, Reuters reported that Ukrainian soldiers disclosed an increased use of the Lancet UAV by Russia in their attacks. Yuri Sak, an advisor to the Ukrainian Minister of Defense, acknowledged the challenges posed by this intensified use of Lancet UAVs. Sak mentioned that despite carrying a relatively small explosive payload and being less powerful than artillery shells and various missiles, the Lancet UAV still poses a significant threat to Ukrainian forces. Its ability to pursue targets makes it a major menace to high-value assets like tanks, self-propelled artillery, and missile systems supplied to Ukraine by Western countries. To counter the Lancet UAV's impact, SAC suggested using metal nets or cages to limit the damage caused by the drones. However, the most effective defense lies in utilizing automated anti-drone guns equipped with radar and electronic warfare systems. Emphasizing the need for additional electronic warfare systems, the Ukrainian general highlighted that Kiev requires support from its allies. 
Without such systems, Ukrainian soldiers often resort to using small arms to shoot down the fast-moving Lancet UAVs, which presents a formidable challenge. The evolving UAV tactics by Russia and the resulting challenges for Ukraine underscore the significance of advanced defense measures and international support in this ongoing conflict. myself wondering, what did happen to the last ten? I ran away with my life fast forward, never turn back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you. Life changes just open the door. One thing's certain, I'll always be yeah. your